Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Hub channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop up a line in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customizations, and they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now is a very different chapter of this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique without having to buy those expensive teams or rely on those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and is not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now that you decide, now respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the Horizon team requests, which is how to change the header height size on your Shopify Horizon team. Because the header on it looks pretty small, so if you want to adjust the size of it, I mean the height of the, uh, of the header, you cannot do that from the team editor. So that's why I'm here. I only show you things that you cannot do from the team editor, so you'll have to use your own custom code. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds small customizations, but a video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I reach that level halfway. For example, check out this on your reviews carousel with multiple tabs for filterable, or for example, this scrolling logos, as you can see with uh, faded at the corners, or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Oops, and it's clickable. Now I clicked on it. That's why it did show up, as you can see. Let me get back to the home page. Or even better, you want to see something that will make you more money. Check this out. This is the mouse cursor, right? I would try to leave or act just like when I want to close the page. And this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and then check out. And this is again by using your own uh, your own code and it detects the mouse cursor once you're trying to leave, it shows up. But I know adjusting the header size, I know. Let's just close this and get back to Shopify Horizon team, which is this one right here. As you can see, the header is pretty small. If I scroll, as you can see, it's pretty small. There is no way to adjust it. By the way, animated logo, I did that in a video. So we will adjust the size for this logo the, sorry, for the header to make it larger or smaller, however you want. It's your decision to make. So the first thing we're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. If you are on your Shopify dashboard, click on, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots to left of customize and click on edit call. But this is not the team we are using. This is horizon team. So I'm going to do it in here instead. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, uh, we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders like this, simply use the search bar at the top left corner, then search for base, and you will see base.css. Then simply click on it, and after that, we'll need to scroll all the way down. It's a huge file, actually, so simply use this, this one right here to scroll all the way down. And in here, we need to create some space in case. There is no space, just like you see. Simply click front of the last thing, in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard, here we go. We have a new space to paste in our code. Where are you going to get that code? From the description box. Simply scroll down the description box and you will see our uh, link, my website. Then simply click on it and it will open up this website right here. Then scroll down and you will see this code. As you can see, this is the mobile header height and the code below is the desktop header height. So you can adjust each one differently. And how to adjust it by changing the numbers. This one, as you can see, 80 and this one is 20, this one is 80, and this one is 80. However, if you put here like 90, make sure to put the same value here and here. And the same for the mobile, as you can see, 30, and the same here, 30, and the same here, 30. In my case, I'm gonna keep them as default, so simply copy the code using this button right here, then get back in here, paste it in the space that we did create, click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it saved it, now we will get back in here, reload the page, and see if the header size will change or not. So let's just reload the page and check it out. It's much larger now, as you can see. So obviously, you might want to uh, lower the value so it will be smaller than this. Or if you want to like, if you like it like this, 
that's your preference. But that's how you adjust the header height on your Shopify Horizon team. And if you have any other requests, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.